Hey YouTube, it's Aiden here, uh, recording this from my phone because currently my uh, computer's kind of acting a little a little weird lately, so I'm just going to do this from my phone, it seems to work out best. So I just wanted to do an update on how it went at my uh, little coming out party. Uh, it went really well, and it's not that I didn't think it was going to go well, it's just whenever you come out to somebody or a group of people... It's always nerve-wracking, so I was totally terrified. But uh, I had a bunch of friends come over here around 10 o'clock. The show started at 11. We had to buy some time. Luckily, somebody showed up late, so uh, that bought us some time. But uh, me and Jenna Lee decided that we are just going to tell them that we're going to be on TV. Uh, turn the TV on and then see how it goes. So that's exactly what we did. Um... I had heard through the grapevine that uh, the show started at 11.03, so at about 11.01, we told everybody, and then uh, we put the television right behind me, put that bad boy on, and so it began. Uh, everybody was really glued to the TV. Um, I mean, within the first scene of me, I say I am transgendered, and uh, my birth certificate is female, so... Um, it was kind of all out there within the first two minutes, before the first uh, commercial break. So, I was sitting right over here, right, like, very close to the, uh, to the TV, so that I could stare at the TV and I wouldn't see anybody's faces. Uh, but my heart was just boom, 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 pounding. I literally have never, I mean, I wasn't not even as nervous to ask Shanley to marry me as I was at that moment in time. Um, I was just terrified. Uh, you know, you just don't know what people's reactions are going to be. But, you know, me and Shanley just held each other's hands real tight. Um, I didn't look back until the first commercial. I'm like, even though there was plenty of time for me to look back and talk and whatever, um, I just waited till the first commercial. Once the first commercial came on, it just kind of turned around and looked at everybody, and, like, everybody looked at me, and then, you know, one by, oh, I went up, I got up, and I went to my phone, because it had been going off, because my friends and stuff had been watching, you guys were watching, and, uh, you know, I get up, I go over there, and then, like, one by one, everybody comes over and gives me a hug, and they thank me for including them in, uh, in that aspect of my life, and, um, you know, it was really nice. It was really, it was really nice. Um, like I said, it's not that I didn't think they would accept it. It's just, you don't know if people feel like they were lied to or they feel like maybe they think they're open and a person and that why would somebody think that I would react this way? And, you know, it, it, it didn't have to do with the people. It had to do with the fact of opening myself up that much. It's a lot. Uh, the things they talk about in that show, I mean, and you guys know, it didn't even dive close into what really goes on. But, um, I mean, for people who are not educated at all on the subject, I mean, it, it gets pretty deep. So, it went really, really well. Uh, super happy with how it turned out. Really couldn't have been happier. <laughs> um, but again, my heart was just pounding and... Um, yeah, I mean, it went really well, and I, I'm really happy for that. And We really have yet to hang out with some of the people since that day. We've hung out with a few of them, but we're, we haven't quite hung out with everybody yet. I would like to, personally, but we just haven't gotten up to that part um, in our lives yet. I mean, it hasn't been that long since it came out. But, um, so, it went well. I was really happy about it, but, um... So now I'm getting recognized. I mean, not like celebrity type. Just, you know. Um, me and Jen Lee have realized that only people who have nice things to say are going to come up to you and acknowledge your presence in some type of... Something that meant something to them in their lives. So, uh, we've had... I've had a couple of people. One person asked for my picture to, with me. Um, I mean, it's cool. Like, you know, it's, it's just nice to be recognized for putting yourself out there. Almost, it's like reminds you that this is why you did it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it's just... I, all the emails I've gotten from you guys on my public Facebook, on my personal Facebook, um, if, you're, if you're watching this and you subscribe to... I mean, friend requesting me on my personal, I sent you to my public... Um, 
I just don't want to mix up uh, all the different things. You know, I'm a lot more open on my public one than I am on my personal one. You know, um, I just, I literally just try to keep my friends and family and the few people who kind of snuck on there in the beginning of the YouTube, uh, once I started YouTube. Um, but I have been directing everybody to my public Facebook, which I will put below. And, uh, so people have been recognizing us. It's really cool because, you know, people out of the blue come up to you and, and thank you. And I had one lady cry um, to me. So it's just real nice to know that people appreciate what you're doing. Um, on the other aspect, I've had, um, I don't know if it was a negative thing that happened to me, but went to the grocery store. And, you know, when people talk about you loud enough so that you could hear, so that you'll turn around, but they don't, they're not directly talking to you. Um, they did pull one of those, and I ignored it, and then I had to go near them, uh, to fill up water bottles, and so I did, and, you know, they're still talking about me behind my back, and then some, a lady asked so, you know, they asked me, oh, were you on a show, and I said yes, and they said what, and I said it gets better, and then there was, oh, okay, a few minutes went by, and then they said, you know, one of the guys, which was kind of ironic, because he's, he's definitely a gay guy, uh, almost was trying to call me out on what it was about, you know, and I just, I, I decided, okay, I can either be almost embarrassed, or I can be proud, okay, and so what I did was I tried to take the higher road, and I said, oh, the show is about equality in the LGBT communities, okay, something along those lines, and I think he was taken back by me being so proud and saying it in front of all these people at freaking the supermarket. And, uh, you know, then he didn't say anything. And I kind of, you know, did my own little jab at them because it was a bunch of guys. And then they, the female is the one who asked me. So I turned to the guys and I said, what's the matter, man? You guys couldn't ask me? You had to get the lady over here to ask me? And they kind of chuckled. And I'm like, come on, man. It's, it's, it's something called courage. And, uh, you know, kind of shut them up because here they are trying to call me out, but you can't call someone out on something if they're proud of it. You know what I mean? Because then they say, oh, yeah, I was on that show. This is what it's about. And what's up? Then the people's, you know, their ammo is kind of like fizzled down and they're like, oh, all right, well, I guess we can't make fun of that dude because he doesn't really care. <laughs> but, um. Yeah, it's been real positive, and, and that, that wasn't a scuffle or anything. I wouldn't even know if that was negative or not. I mean, like I said, the, one of the guys who asked me was definitely gay. I don't know if he's open about it, and I don't want to put that label on him, but I've talked to him before, and he just, you know, I just feel like he's in the community, and, uh, you know, I don't know if he was trying to cover himself up by trying to make fun of me or, or what, but uh, I think my confidence kind of threw everybody off. Um so it, it taught me that if somebody asks me about it, I'm going to be confident in it. And, it. and if they have something negative to say, I'm going to say, you know, your, your, valid, your opinion is valid in, in your world, and that's fine. But, you know, unfortunately, because you are seeing these so negative, I'm going to have to walk away from the situation. And I'll remove myself from whatever situation that may be. Uh, you know, even if I'm at a bar and someone comes up to me and something negative to say, I'd rather just pay my tab, remove myself from the situation, go to another bar where I am accepted. Um, yeah, so, so it was real good. Uh, you know, it just gives me hope that, um, other people will, uh, go through struggle that I went through and then possibly come out to some people that are real close to them and some people might surprise you. Um, I don't know if I thought everybody in that room that night was going to approve, but they showed me that they did. They showed me that they supported me and I could not be happier with, um, with the night and how it turned out. Yeah, so that's about it. <laughs> uh, so, if you guys noticed while I was making this video, check out my cool shirt, right? Right there, my cool new shirt. This is the newest uh, one I've made. It's the logo. I'm actually currently in the phase of getting it copyrighted. It's kind of a long phase. I, I was unaware, and uh, I'm trying to work it up. Uh, got filed to get the paperwork, so that's good. So, if anybody's thinking about stealing it, you're too late. Just to let you know. Um, but yeah, if you want to, uh, rep a .5 CC logo shirt or any of the other shirts, I make a tons of shirts today, today is shirt day, uh, just go ahead, hit up the website below, if you're not friends with me on Facebook, please do so, hit up below, and yeah, that's it guys, um, again, thank you all for your continuous support through it all, anybody new to this channel, 
um, who has become subscribed to me and become friends on Facebook because of the show. I appreciate you guys. Uh, you're the reason that we made the show, um, especially if you're somebody who's not particularly in the community but is curious in a positive way. I, I am really happy you've joined us. And, um, yeah, I look forward to talking to you guys soon. I'm sure I'll have something else to say in life, and you guys will hear about it. All right, guys. Peace.